Hello there, Refine Co. community. Marta Lockley here with a live edit for you. I have 30 images I've pulled from a recent edit that I did for Tech Pataja. Um, this is one of his real weddings. And um, he shared these with us so I could edit for you guys. And I'm just going to go through. And I won't do a ton of talking. <laughs> I probably will because I do like to talk. Um, but I'm going to go through and edit each image, how I'd edit them for tech, because um, I do handle his wedding edits for him, and um, give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. In this uh, batch of 30 here, I have three different camera models. I have a Hasselblad, I have a Sony A1, and a Canon R5. So you'll see how they all work together um, and the preset I use. And since I'm editing one wedding, I generally pick a preset and go with it. I don't change a lot. So you won't see me using a ton of the presets from the collection because then it's inconsistent in my opinion. But I will be doing black and white and color. Um, so I'll just go ahead and pick one and go with it for the rest of the shoot. But I'll show you the edits. Um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and work with Portrait One today. And I'm just gonna lower the exposure a little and lift the shadows so we can see the velvet on these shoes and a little bit of contrast. That down a little, and there we go. Let me go ahead and do side by side so you guys can see as I go. And this one we'll do in black and white. And the color. And this is um, the Hasselblad uh, image, and I do notice they tend to run a little on the green side and also a little bright. Um, the presets do not run as bright on the Canon R5s or the Sony A1, but on this, these files they do. So I just have to adjust my exposure a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead and get this crop in so we don't have that weird line. White, same thing. This is a Hasselblad. Let's go ahead and fix these lines real quick. Add a little magenta so it feels a little green to me. This would also make a nice black and white. That's pretty much one click. I know in text shoots like this, these are what he's envisioning as black and white. So I'm definitely going to do this black and white for him. It's going to brighten that white just a touch. And technically, since I've picked a preset, I could just run this batch, run the preset across, but I'm just going to click for now for you guys. So we're going to go ahead. This needs a little magenta. And I'm basically just watching skin tones when I adjust for tint um, and white balance. And tech does shoot of the Sony A1, which sometimes, okay. Which sometimes I notice um, does lean a little green. You can see right here. And then Portrait One, the out of this collection, has a cooler undertone. So that's one reason I'm having to add a little magenta in. You can see Portrait Five is a little warmer. Um, but I wanted the cooler greens in these, so I went with Portrait One on this shoot. So just by adding a little magenta in helps balance that out. Let's kind of move that back so you guys can see. Let's pull back those highlights a little. I love this suit just a smidge.
This is a Sony file. Same thing. Warm them up. Tons of green. You can see the green in their faces. So we're going to balance that with some magenta, a mix of magenta and warmth. contrast to get those suits to pop. Again, you can see that green in there. So we're just going to add warmth, add magenta, lift from the shadows. Like we're leaning a little on that one. Let's see what Otto does. Kind of cooled it down too much. I did put in some of that magenta I've been adding in. And here's a delicate balance. He's very warm, she's very pink. So we try to find the happy medium between them um, when you've got two people in an image like this with very different skin tones. So we don't want her getting too pink and we don't want him staying green. So we got to find that happy medium between them. Here's a nice interior shot. Looks like we've got nothing but artificial light on this. So we know it's a white cake, or at least we're going to assume it's a white cake on this. It looks like it's going to be a white cake. So we're just getting a nice Kodak portrait film tone on that cake. Straighten it out. Lift a little from the shadows to lighten those curtains up. And once I have some of these, you know, when I'm editing in the same section, um, you know, as an editor, I will copy and paste and then hand tweak as needed. So, um, there we go. And that saves time when you're editing a full wedding. So, like this whole grouping, I could have copy and pasted and got it all pretty close and saved myself some tweaking. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to keep. Editing each one individually. Adding in that magenta. I'm going to lift the shadows to lighten their suits up a little bit and bring down the highlights so her dress isn't getting blown out. And I'm really just watching their skin tone on these. It's a darker image. Um, looks like the sun was really setting, so it started getting dark on them. And same thing, adding the magenta to balance out all that green color cast. You can see that instantly takes care of it. And there we go. And already almost through them. Definitely going to pull down the highlights so her dress isn't blown out. And let's lift those shadows a little bit. Give them a little more warmth. That looks to be a nice black and white. We're already almost done. Uh, this is Sony. That one got bright. Exposure probably could have come down on it a little in camera, but as you're moving around, it, you know, you can't always get that exposure nailed. That's why we shoot raw. 
So we have the flexibility of adjusting as needed to straightening that horizon out. There we go. Make it nice black and white. Black and white. I'm going to go ahead and switch this one to color. So let me reset that. Because normally when I have them side by side, I kind of pick and choose. So I sometimes do this. I go back and pick it up. Which one I want black and white, which one I do not. That way it's a focal image. There we go. Did that one. And then we have a nighttime. Um, I like to switch to the ambient presets for nighttime so it looks like slow shutter film. You know, because that's how you would have to shoot it if you shot film um, at night. So I usually do adjust that. That's what these ones are built to mimic. Let's put this side by side there. There you go. And last one. And again, I would do this as another black and white. Let's pull that dress highlight down a little. Ease up on that contrast a little. And I'm going to go ahead and add heavier green on that. And there you go. That is a full set of 30 images. So this would be a nice highlight for a wedding. Um, and I don't think it took me very long to do this at all. But that gives you a look at how I would edit these for tech. And uh, thank you for joining us here at Refine Co.